Listen, if you want to see the full version of this interview without waiting until part 75, <laughs> hit the join button right next to the subscribe button and become a VIP member for just $2.99 a month. While you're at it, turn the red subscribe button gray and hit the notification bell. All right, now VIPs, enjoy the clip. <laughs> You know, I know, like you said, people only think you have one brother. Scrap is kind of like the only one that's really much, really out there, like you are, right? Yeah, yeah, but that's how it was designed. It was mm -hmm. really designed like that. My other brothers, gotcha. they, they, they somebody's if you know me. If you know me, everybody that know me, they know yeah. my other brothers. But gotcha. you know, people that really know me. But it was designed like that. That He was, a, he was my manager. That's yes. what it was when I was, oh. was rapping. He was my manager. So okay. when, now that was the whole thing. He's the reason I rapped. I yes. Didn't, yes. I, I always... And thought of being in the entertainment, I ain't gonna lie to you, because I always felt like I had an image. I ain't gonna act like I thought I was ugly or something. I always felt like I had an image, but yeah. I just didn't know where it was gonna be. I never thought about rapping. Gotcha. I used to try, and then he, him knowing that I tried to rap, he put me in the studio. He went to the studio one day, he tried to rap. I was oh, like, not all. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. When, when I hear uh, people talk about scrap, you know, instantly, <laughs> the thing I think about is that scene from Friday. Diva, when he riding his bike, he pulling up on Craig and Day Day and taking the chain and all that, talking about the chain. Hold on. Is that a real, accurate depiction of who he is, or is that exaggerated? Nah, I feel like that's exaggerated. He could yeah. be Debo if he wanted to be. I wouldn't yeah. take it from him. He could be Debo, but Debo is more stupid. Okay. You know I mean? Debo don't got no brain to him. Got you. So, so for the people that do... Because I think it's an honor when you get to know people who they really are. Like, somebody to get close to you and no OP, no scrap. You know, that's an honor. So, for people who are, who get that opportunity to know you, scrap, on a deeper level, what's one thing they would say about the way y'all love people? Whether it be romantic, friendship, family, what's one thing they would say about the love that y'all, they receive from y'all that people might be shocked about? Um, blunt. Mm-hmm. Um, we always gonna tell her how it is. That but, might be hard to hear, though. Like not, yeah, the average person yeah, can't yeah, take yeah. it. You fall out. I fall out with people. It is what it is. I don't care. Yeah, that's the truth. I do, feel like I don't. If I got something to say, I'm gonna say it. Yeah. Do you say it? Do you worry? I, about, if you if I got love for you, you should know I don't mean no harm. I okay. might come off harsh, but yeah. it's like sometimes when you saying what haven't been said, it's like what other ways is to say it. It's like yeah. you never. Someone never been real like this with you before, so of course. It's going to hit you different. Too, yeah. So. See, I, I agree with that, but I feel like I, I started to learn, too, like, you can be honest without being disrespectful, I guess. Oh, no, I try. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like that's the, I, I feel like that's the street aspect. When you're talking to a girl, you got to be more gentle yeah. and feminine. Yeah, but I feel yeah. like if we, if I, we from the same environment, you should know how I'm talking. And I don't mean no harm. You should know what I mean harm. Man. You know when someone's trying to hurt you. Yeah, yeah. Or antagonize you to do something to them. Yeah. Or fight. So it's like... You should know. Yeah. You, you know, it's crazy. Oh, man. I, I feel like I hear what you're saying, and I used to feel that way. But I, I'm a, I'm a, I want your perspective on this. When you... A lot of people I know that be in the streets and this and that, I've come to find out they be the most emotional ones. Yeah. It be... Because... Anger is also an emotion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being impulsive is an emotion. Crashing out, that's an emotion. Like, I be feeling like sometimes a lot of things could have been avoided with a real communication, but niggas chose to just be like, nah, I don't want to talk to him. When I see him, it's up. My nigga, he just said a joke about you, bro. Yeah, sometimes. It'd it be the internet, too, though, because you got other people voicing their opinions. Okay. So that's what it'd be. But because if he was in person and the joke happened, it probably would have never been nothing. Mm. Not no smoke, but I feel like you just been. I've been taught this. I don't. I feel like my brothers taught me this. I don't know. I feel like it's scrap specifically. Yeah. Like don't let your emotions supersede your intelligence. So it's like, okay, I ain't trying to be so emotional that I turn stupid. So yeah, or look stupid. Exactly. I agree.